Hi guys, so today I am doing another like my experience type videos. My last one was really well received by you guys and I mentioned doing a Tinder experience video and seriously all of you guys were like yes please do one. Really quick before I start talking about Tinder, <laughs> I'm having a meetup this Saturday at the Mall of America which is in Minnesota. And I've had a meetup there before and tons of you guys came out so if you live in the area and would like to meet me and Megan, the event is from 2 to 4 4 p.m. at Macy's and there's gonna be a fashion show starting at 2 and then a meet and greet afterwards so it's from 2 to 4 at Macy's like the Macy's court at the Mall of America and I'm super excited so I just want to let you guys know that super quick so let me know in a comment below or tweet me if you can make it and I also will link an image in the description box because there's three other cities that I'm actually going to for other meetups so if you don't live in that area maybe you'll live near one of these there's an Atlanta meetup Louisiana and Santa Clara I think California so check that out in the description box okay now on to tinder so first of all if you don't know what tinder is basically it's a meeting people slash dating app and a lot of people have like really weird like everyone has their opinion on tinder before I got it I didn't think that I would ever get it <laughs> but living in LA and going to a school that's like 90% girls being the age where you can't really like go out and stuff that much at night um, to certain places it is definitely a little bit hard to meet people and meet guys I'm not gonna name any names in this video just because I don't want to make anyone like uncomfortable but I will be talking about a lot of people um, a couple friends like over a year ago as I said kind of like influenced me to get the app and I've just had it ever since I go through phases with it like where I'll be super like into tinder and maybe like meeting up with people and then for like months I won't really use it and I'm not into it at all I think there's nothing wrong with having an app like tinder or there's other apps like this if you want to meet people because as I'm gonna get into in this video like Tinder helped me meet a lot of the people in my life that have a huge part of my life now Which is really weird and you wouldn't necessarily think that from tinder I'm gonna go ahead and get into the good the bad and the ugly of tinder So basically if you don't know how it works It's just an app where this is my profile It's an app where you can upload photos and have a little bio about yourself and it connects you with people uh, close by in your area or you can have your I think you can have your range be up to like 50 or 100 miles or something And you can upload anywhere from one I think to six pictures I have six and you can swipe through people's photos and you can X them or you can check them So it's basically I don't know It's kind of like a crazy concept and it connects with your Facebook too And I'm pretty sure you have to be 18 to like have a tinder at least be 18 on Facebook so yeah that's basically a little background on tinder so you start going through people xing and checking and let me just tell you tinder has definitely gone like I feel like when I started it was a lot better than it is now I don't know now it's just I guess I may be picky or something but it's just really hard for me to like find people on tinder that I like now I'll start going through people and if you click like on someone and they click like back for you it matches you to and tinder the tinder app basically starts a chat in the app so basically you have your matches and you can just you know sort through all of your matches let me first get into the good of tinder because Tinder has done some great things for me and it's really weird. A lot of people use Tinder just to talk to people and they won't really go and meet up with anyone. And I mean, I definitely think that you need to be safe and everything like that, but the whole kind of point of Tinder is to meet new people. So I think I've met up with like four, yeah, four guys from Tinder at this point. So yeah, I mean, I take Tinder like somewhat seriously. Like I'm not gonna go and meet up with someone that I'm not like, a little bit you know interested in someone that I don't like think will be cool so as I said I'm not gonna be naming any names in this video but a few months back I saw a guy on tinder and we matched he had his Twitter in his bio and I went and I looked at his Twitter and he had like a decent following on Twitter I followed him he followed me back and he messaged me and was like hey I see that like you have like a following on Twitter too like we both had like a social media presence I guess you could say we both thought that was cool and both started talking about like what we do and stuff like that and he had just moved to LA and we agreed to meet up like I don't know we met up a few days later and we met up at a coffee shop and just like talked 
talked about stuff I was telling him about YouTube he was telling me about like just moving here and everything that he like wanted to do and he was super interested in like the YouTube aspect of me and he just wanted to like hear about it and everything and we got along super super well so we hung out for like a few hours it was really good like first hangout and everything like that I guess you could say and then um, we were still like keeping in touch and everything and a couple days after that we decided to hang out again he brought like four of his friends over to my apartment little did I know that like three of the boys that were there would become like some of my best guy friends that I've ever had that's basically what ended up happening basically I just developed a really really good friendship with this guy that I had met through tinder and I honestly don't think we would have gotten to meet like any other way really but I wouldn't have met any of those people if it wasn't for this guy that I met through tinder and I wouldn't have met him if it wasn't for the tinder app and like me agreeing to go and hang out with him like I feel like life a lot is about saying yes to certain things now onto the weird side of tinder and the annoying side first of all a lot of guys will just say really creepy things in their first message to you a lot of people you match with actually I would say most of the people you match with like after you match they don't even like initiate a conversation and I guess that does run two ways and if I'm really interested in the person that I match with like I'll say hi or whatever but most of my matches like we don't even have a conversation started and it's just weird because it's like why did you both heart each other and then you're just not even gonna like say anything it's kind of weird the last guy yeah this was the last time I met up with someone on tinder because it was really really weird so I had been texting this guy for a couple weeks and like we started talking on tinder and then we started texting a little bit but just like occasionally he did music and stuff and he was like I'm having a show tonight you should come and go to it he told me like the address it was at and everything and I was like okay so I was with my guy friend Ollie I didn't go alone first of all if you're gonna be meeting up with someone from tinder go to a public place every single time I've gone and met up with someone we've gone to like a coffee shop you know don't meet them at their place don't have them meet you at, at your place like just go somewhere and meet them anyway I was with my guy friend Ollie and we went together to this show which turned out to be the sketchiest experience probably that I've had in LA so far. First of all, we like walk in and it's this random like old, I don't even know if you would call it a house. It was basically just like the basement in the backyard of a really small like weird house in this weird area. And we walked in and there was just people like standing around in the backyard and there was like music playing in the garage and like lights and stuff. And I was just like, oh, I thought this was going to be like an actual like somewhat of a venue or something like that. But it was not. Anyway, so I see the guy like standing with some of his friends and I was like, hey, I'm Lindsay. And we started like talking stuff and he was like, oh, like we actually just finished like I we had gotten there late so him and his group I don't even know um had like finished or whatever so I was like oh, okay whatever like we'll just like hang out it was basically just a party where I guess people were like going after each other doing their like music things but it was so it was just strange I had never been to anything like it it got really 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 weird I didn't realize that any of this was happening but there was like this back room behind to like the DJ stand or whatever I mean I wasn't really looking too deeply into this room I didn't go into the room or anything like that but me and Ollie my friend went to the bathroom and he was like Lindsay people are literally like doing like hard drugs and like that back room like I think people are literally like doing like meth and heroin in that back room. I had absolute, like I wasn't looking into the room. I couldn't see any of this happening. I was just like, what? Um, okay, yeah, let's get out of here. Let's leave. After that, I was just like, okay, I saw the guy and I was like, all right, well, it was nice to meet you. I think we're gonna go like catch a movie or something. Yeah, sorry, we have something to get to. Me and Ollie left and we were like, I can't. I can't believe that happened. That was so sketchy. What was going on at that party? I didn't know any of those people. I never talked to the guy again. He never texted me again. It was so weird. And after that, I haven't um, gone to see anyone else from Tinder. You know, I'm not completely scarred. I just wouldn't go to a situation like that. Like, I'm not going to go to a random address. Again, I'm really glad that I had my friend with me. So just, you know, be careful, as I said. Another bad Tinder experience I had was one person that I met through tinder we got like really close we were hanging out a ton for like just it was just like a few weeks but we were really close in like the few weeks I really 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 did like him and um everything was going I thought really good we had been hanging out we've been texting like nothing had really come up I don't think I still to this day don't know what happened if he happens to be watching this video because he definitely knows that I make YouTube videos and he's watched my videos um I would love to know me and this guy have been talking like non stop for a few weeks 
a month, a little bit of time, and then I went out of town, and we were like still talking the first day I went out of town, and then for some reason, like while I was on the trip, communication was like just like he stopped replying to my text. I texted him maybe two or three times, like. It, I think it was probably like two times without getting a reply and then I was just like okay um, I'm not gonna like try to like make this go I, like if you want to talk to me like you can talk to me I'm not gonna like be like where are you what's going on so on that trip like all communication with us literally stopped and I have never heard from him since this has happened to me before with a guy and it's just the weirdest thing ever it's just I don't know if any of you guys have gone through something like this but it's so strange because like when you think everything's going right and you don't see any problems when you like someone and then they just completely like stop talking to you it's almost worse than being told like this is what like I don't like you because of this or I want this to like be over it's literally worse than that because you have no idea like what happened I don't know so <laughs> that is another unfortunate thing that honestly did hurt me because I as I told you guys I really did like this guy so since then I've been uh, a bit like I haven't been as active on tinder but um, as I said I am still extremely thankful for it and I think if anything like it's a cool way to meet new people especially if you're like moving somewhere where you don't know anyone or if you're just like oh I'm so single but I feel like that like I go on tinder and I'll match with people it's just fun to like talk to people and to like when you match with someone like I don't know it's just fun like tinder is just funny and fun and it's just yeah that is my tinder experience video uh, if you guys want me to talk about anything else tinder related in like a vlog another video or what other like experience i guess videos do you want to see i can do any of them i think this should be like a new series on my channel i did my psychic experience if you guys haven't seen that i'll link it right here and this was my tinder experience so give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and you liked hearing my guy and tinder stories and that's it and my next video will definitely be like a more beauty or fashion related video because i know this had like nothing to do with that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye!